Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another quarantine dream from Primo's Premier Professional Wrestling and a happy Rex Manning Day! And Rex Manning can eat his heart out, we got Paul London. I am completely taken aback right now. This is amazing. Hitting them high notes is the 303 champion, Paul London. The fans here at the Watering Bowl holding out lighters and cell phones like a concert. We are being serenaded by the sweet, sweet sounds of Paul London. Paul London has definitely made the wrestling entrance an art of his own. Some of the less intelligent fans here at the Watering Bowl suggesting a Loser Leaves Town match. And you heard Paul London lay the stipulation out. Anything goes two out of three falls. The miracle that is Tony is game. And this is for the 303 championship. This is at Bloodbath 2017. Paul London, about 5 feet, 10 inches tall, 205 pounds. A former Cruiserweight champion, one of the longest reigning tag team champions in WWE history. And of course, the miracle that is Tony, reputation precedes itself in Primo's premier professional wrestling, one of the biggest names in Primo's history. An alum of Cali's Only Cool Kids, about the same size as Paul London. Collar and elbow tie up here. Miracle able to send London into the corner and a slap to the face from Tony. 
and London giving chase. They are ringing around the rosy right now. London putting a stop to it. I don't think the miracle that is Tony knows that London is behind him right now. He's looking for London and he found him. Paul London sending the miracle to the outside. And a basement drop kick through the bottom rope there. You saw it sending Tony into the stairs here at the watering bowl and they are fighting on the outside now here in the very early going. Paul London said anything goes and he is exercising it right now. Three oh three championship match looking like it should be taking place at Slave to the Death match right now. They are fighting up here on the upper level of the watering bowl. The miracle that is Tony just laying in the open hands to the chops of Paul London. And speaking of chops from Paul London, there's a knife edge chop. And now Paul London just dropping forearms down across the back of the miracle that is Tony. They just took it to the outside. They could be attacked by dogs here right now. You think it's a joke, it's not. They're in the parking lot now. Our cameraman is way out of place. Look at that guy go. And they are back in the building before we could even get out to the parking lot. Paul London is definitely an individual who will take the fight everywhere. He has a snowball. Tony is begging for mercy. That could be pure ice. And oh my goodness, he just put it down. The miracle that is Tony's trunks. Back into the ring, rolls him up too. The miracle that is Tony is able to keep this first fall going. There you see the snow here at the watering bowl. Has him in that atomic drop off the ropes now. Able to avoid the clothesline as Tony has him rolled up. Two, three. And the first fall goes to the miracle that is Tony. Starting the second fall now. A side suplex there from Paul London. Miracle kicks out. He's still has a snowball down those trunks. Spinning heel kick from the former cruiserweight champion. The current at this time 303 champion Paul London. And Paul London continuing with those educated feet and those blows to the back. Sending Tony back into the ring. And up on the top rope, this is where Paul London will have an advantage with just about anyone on the planet. Double stomp to the back of the miracle that is Tony. This could be the second fall. One, two, Able to kick out is the miracle that is Tony. Pulling him over to the corner now is London. He could be setting him up for that 450 splash or London calling so many weapons that London has. But the miracle that is Tony is able to quell any of that. But Paul London answers back with some offense of his own sending the miracle that is Tony back into a prone position, but he is able to move out of the way of that second rope sent on from London. Miracle now looking for the clean sweep, close fist there to the temple of London. 
Shoulder tackles to the midsection in the corner. Referee warning and admonishing the miracle that is Tony. Tony sending London coast to coast. And that back of Paul London taking all kinds of punishment here. Here's a cover. One, two, this could be it. No, London able to kick out. And Tony taking issue with the count. Knife edge chopped there from Paul London, followed up by a double axe handle from the miracle that is Tony, though. And Tony continuing the assault on the back of the 303 champion. And another knife edge chop from London, a series of them now. Those are dangerous from Paul London. Sending Tony into the corner now, up on the ropes. Two, three, just dropping those closed fists down. Referee warning Paul London, but it's an anything goes match. And Tony just used that to his advantage right there. Paul London, if he were doing his entrance now, would be singing a little bit of soprano. Cover two. Both of these men beating each other like they just gambled away $9,000 in Atlantic City. The 303 championship on the line. Sunset flip from Paul London. Miracle that is Tony able to reverse it. Hands on the ropes. Referee kicking the arms off, giving London the opening he needed and this is the start of the third fall it looks like It is one fall of peace. The official has confirmed. Beautiful drop kick there from Tony. And this is the final fall. Anything goes for the 303 championship. It could be over here. One, two. Paul London able to kick out. The miracle that is Tony able to put Paul London right into a camel clutch. London refusing to give up right now. The referee continuing to ask London. London refusing, using the power and the momentum here from the Watering Bowl fans to power his way out of this camel clutch. The miracle that is Tony doing everything he can to keep it attached. But Paul London having none of it. Back elbow there, that'll knock some chiclets out of your mouth and a beautiful crescent kick. Those educated feet of Paul London going to work here. Into a cover, has a leg hook, two. Able to kick out at two and three quarters was the miracle that is Tony. And a headbutt from London, sending Tony back into the corner. London just dropping all kinds of blows. Off the rope, big drop kick right to the face of Tony. Here's the cover, one, two. Able to kick out is Tony. And Paul London may have had that cover in so deep that it gave the miracle that is Tony just a little bit of momentum to help him kick out of there. And Tony sending London face first into that turnbuckle pad. The fans here at the Watering Bowl still squarely behind London, it sounds like. And Tony choking Paul London with that boot to the throat. Tony has him propped up on the top rope now. Dangerous, dangerous intentions for the cru former Cruiserweight Champion. 
But Paul London fighting his way out of it once again, just dropping all kinds of headbutts to the miracle that is Tony, sending Tony down to the mat. He is on Dream Street right now. And forearms and chops from Paul London right now, sending Tony into another corner of the ring, giving him a tour of the ring right now is Paul London. And that was a home run right there. Touch them all, Paul London. Irish Coast, Irish Whip Coast to Coast. Miracle that is Tony trying to get up. Paul London saw it coming and the referee was just knocked out with that airplane spin. Into a Death Valley driver. London could have it won here, but the referee is out. One, two, three, four, five. The referee unconscious the entire time. Paul London realizing and trying to bring the referee back to life here. London realizing that the referee is out and is just going to continue to drop offense onto the miracle that is Tony, but Tony is up. Tony has a kendo stick and he just clocked Paul London in the head with it. We could have a new 303 champion right here. There you see that kendo stick. That Singapore cane that the miracle that is Tony just took clean to the head of Paul London. Since is the end here. Has him up and down, does Tony. But Tony still feeling the effects of this two out of three falls match. Realizing the referee is out himself, pulling London over to the corner. And I am the provider is up on the apron. I am the provider avoiding that strike from the miracle that is Tony. Has Tony distracted? What is going on here? And oh my goodness, no water in the pool gave London the opening he needed. I am the provider telling something to Paul London, jumping in the ring now and just dropping forearms across the temple of the miracle that is Tony. Profit in the ring now. And the cult awaits you is just laid the miracle that is Tony out on a silver platter. London calling! But there is still no referee. Referee being woken up now. One, two, three. Still your 303 champion is Paul London, but what the hell is going on here? The MK Bandit in the ring now as well. Transcend 
Did he just say what I think he just said? You can hear the fans here at the watering bowl. Looks like Paul London may have just joined the cult awaits you. Fans, we have to go for Primo's premier professional wrestling and quarantine dreams. I am JV Vernola. We will see you next time.